Good morning, friends. Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. <clears throat> we already are finding out this morning uh, that the United States forces there have uh, launched strikes on Yemeni uh, Houthi uh, uh, positions inside of Yemen. Uh, those attacks are coming as a result of what the U.S. is saying are attacks by um, Houthi rebels on more than 50 nations of, uh, of the ships that are moving in that area, including those of American ships. And one reason why the Biden administration has justified the attack without the direct, uh, uh, the direct response of Congress or the Congress being able to declare war. They say they're protecting American interest uh, in the region there. Uh, also, Putin is calling on for an emergency uh, UN Security Council meeting saying that the attack on Yemen uh, is in violation of international law. That being uh, coming out. And of course, we have uh, this in here, uh, an attack on uh, the uh, not being able to be confirmed as of yet, but uh, Jerusalem Post was reporting this morning an attack on the U.S. Embassy inside of Iraq. Uh, the embassy there, of course, they said there were alarms and things going off as well uh, in that area, and it is believed to be Iranian-backed rebels that are doing it. Uh, I kind of find it all interesting in light of the fact that uh, trying to justify the war with Iran, and so as the supposedly Gaza war is winding down, and if that be the case, Israel's not going to stop. Uh, at least the Netanyahu administration is not going to stop until they have a war with Iran, uh, as well as a war with uh, uh, Lebanon and Syria. They're going to make sure they continue as they try to topple that entire region. Uh, another news here in the United States, Abby Martin has been arrested in a protest uh, uh, that has taken place there. And uh, I'm not sure exactly where that is at yet. Uh, she was in an anti uh uh, a rally that supports Palestinian rights and against the U.S.-Israeli genocide that is happening in Gaza. Um, hats off to Abby Martin for being bold enough to make that stand. And what a shame for America for violating freedom of speech uh, is my, my position on that there. Uh, also, to France, there is concern that there is going to be a possible toppling of the government of France as hundreds of thousands have joined in a protest against the government, and they're anticipating up to a million protesters it could turn out. Uh, if you remember, we reported some time back that uh, different rabbis were saying that France would go into a, um, a situation of a civil unrest. Interesting how things are pre-planned, aren't they? Very interesting. Anyway, these are just some of the updates we're sharing with you this morning. Be talking to you later this evening. Have a blessed day.